Dan Bell the Podcast is made possible through listener support on Patreon. We thank you. Welcome to the podcast for, uh, well, this is Friday. I don't know what the date is. What's today's date? Uh, August the 3rd. Ooh. Mm. Dirty Room comes out in uh, 10 days. The new episode of Dirty Room, I think. 13th. Don't ask me. You're the one editing. Anyway, I'm joined on this podcast by, as always, well, not as always. He's going home soon, thank God, and I can get my regular... Cast wow, back. that is offensive. Jake Williams is here me. from Bright. Racist against Jake Williams. Jake Williams is here from Bright Sun Films. I don't Hello, appreciate this. at at Bright Sun Films, and we also have two yeah. special guests. We have Drip One Three Three. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> you can follow Drip on Twitter at what? It's a. Uh, it's just Drip One Three Three. Wow, that's it. That's really deep. Real simple. And we have Corey here at uh, Tweet Drippy. Is tweet my Twitter Drippy? Are, is that some relation? Uh, well, no, I, I think I might have just subconsciously subcon- taken slight influence off of his name because uh, you know. Oh wait, but, you were the original. I was the, I was the original Drippy. He was, drip. he, he was wow. the original Drippy. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I might have, I might have been like, you know, that's kind of cool. But I, you know, whatever. I don't well, care. I think it's kind of cool that we're both yeah. kind of like both in the, the drip realm. <laughs> the, dri- <laughs> the drip <laughs> realm. <laughs> drip <laughs> realm. <laughs> um, so this show, basically, I mean, it's going to be uh, sort of a companion piece to the video that is coming out or that's already out because you'll be listening to the show. But we're just going to go through kind of the experiences that we <laughs> had last night in Detroit <laughs> So the plan was really, I mean, it was just, and for those of you, uh, Drip um, has done music for my videos, uh, I think, is it three? Three videos, you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it. and then the Dead Mall series. We, we did. Uh, mm-hmm, yeah, an older song. Yeah, yeah. did some of that. And, and Drip is part of that whole, like, sesh uh, collective. Is that what it would be called? A collective? Yeah, pretty much a collective or, you know, just, I guess, just friends making music type of thing, you know? Yeah. And you're doing a show. What do you want to plug your show? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, show. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I'm doing a show in L.A. on the eighth at the El Rey Theater. I can't really remember what. Probably around nine or seven. Or P, uh, something. It is, it, it's probably sold out, though, right? I have no idea, but I don't know. Potentially, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I hope so. And Corey, would you like to plug anything? You have any upcoming gigs? I know you play a lot in Detroit, right? But you yeah. do like dubstep. I, I play a lot in Detroit uh, right now. I'm playing my next show is uh, actually in Arkansas. I'm playing uh, Natural Land Music Festival. Hmm. Um, should be pretty interesting. It's at like a like a uh, off road truck place. <laughs> so I've never played in a venue like that. But <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Well, that sounds like a career-ending gig. <laughs> <laughs> so happy for you. Monster trucks everywhere. <laughs> um, so anyway, we're, 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 we basically got together. I've never hung out with Drip before, so it was really fun to meet you. And we've talked a lot on the phone. Mm-hmm. And we've been text friends. Pretty much uh, pen pals. Yeah, yeah. And last time we were in Detroit, I don't know what happened. We were supposed to hang out, but... Yeah, I don't remember. Some something happened i don't know yeah i don't know what i don't know what it was that uh what did happen well you were gonna come meet us but it was like oh dan uh we can be there at 2 a.m and i'm like bitch i'm leaving tomorrow. that is yeah. what happened that's yeah. right yeah. yeah i think it was uh far too or something but J- like jake is like not i was t- t- telling jake today i'm like he's not used to 
being around vampires. Like, well, the three of us are fucking vampires. <laughs> and Jake's like, he gets up at like 7 a.m. and he's, you know, busybody and goes. Wait, to- me? Yeah. Well, maybe I'm. Ex- what the hell A little is that bit. noise? You hear that? Oh, it's gone. We now. hear that. We don't have headphones. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that was electronic noise. Let me just move this. There we go. We we are podcasting from a hotel room, so it's uh, it's actually good because in my in my office there's no carpet and no curtains, so that's why we have to talk so close to the mic because right. there's no everything is like abs- there's no absorption of sound, right. so it's just echoey. So in here it's like pretty quiet. It's wonderful, oh, as it hotels is. intend to be, probably. <laughs> so. Uh, Drip, let's talk a little bit about you first before we get into this whole thing. But so, how did you get started with music? And and uh, if you guys have not heard Drip, and I have not heard you, Corey, yet, but you know what, Corey, I will use your music in the episode, <laughs> okay. so people can Pretty hear well. it. <laughs> I'll open with Drip, and I'll close with Drippy Tweet Drippy Drippy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so how did you get started with Music Drip? Um, well, I guess I want to just give a shout out to my dad because uh, he just showed me like a lot of uh, just crazy, ridiculous stuff um, regarding music and stuff from when I was obviously born or whatever to now. And I always just wanted to make music and stuff. So that's pretty much it. I just downloaded the program. And learned it. You know, I thought it was interesting. Uh, it was actually the the video that I put out when uh, um, when Will Krapinski and myself were attacked by killer bees, and I t- <laughs> I I had a bunch of footage. We we really weren't getting anything in that episode. I mean, as far as like a full video is concerned, we we're just finding all these like little spots or whatever. Um, and then I contacted Drip, and I'm like, I'm like, I want to. Do something like a desert, a deserty kind of like song, but like mm. a creepy kind of deserty uh, song that kind of like, and you just nailed it. You got it perfect because when I listened to it, I was like, "This is like so fucking perfect." It's yeah. one of my favorite songs. When I was making it, I was like, "This is pretty like fucked up." I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was good. It was I cool. mean, it was yeah, so I, good. And then like so. Explain to everybody like the sesh thing. Like what is like what is that? Is it is it like a is it a a way of life? Is it when you're listening to the music, like you're just like seshing out? Like what is it? Well it was uh originally started by Bones, uh and like it, I wouldn't say it's a way of life, it's just like a bunch of friends making music that's how i see it you know it's, we're all kind of like unique or whatever in our own way so it's there's no real like actual like thing to be in it it's more like uh everyone just does their own thing and there's no like solid thing it's just mm. what I, like everyone does whatever and it's just cool you know and we're um, all together i mean it seems like i mean it's such a huge thing it's so popular and i'm kind of like mystified by it because, um, I mean, Bones can... I mean, he's selling out wherever he goes. Mm-hmm. And he's never signed a record contract or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, no, for sure. So it's just like, uh, it's very kind of... Um, yeah, that's a, that's obviously another big part of it, is that we just don't really do any type of label signing, paper like, signing, really, nothing. Really, people don't even know what you look like. Yeah, I mean, I didn't slightly, even, but not... Slightly, but... Yeah, no, I know. Like you're when you do your show, you're probably gonna wear a mask. You said, yeah, because I just I don't know. I don't like people just staring at me. And I don't like that. It's weird to me. Well, I want to. Like tell I would hate for someone to be like to see me on the street and know who I'm. Be like, oh, like to me, that's kind of like I don't know. I don't know if I would want that. What's wrong all. with you? I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, but I mean, weird. but I mean, it's like um, I mean, no, I get it, and mm-hmm. and thankfully, I'm looking at drip right now and i want to say you're all very fortunate that he keeps himself <laughs> out of public exactly. eye yeah you guys don't want to see me trust me i i'm going to actually grab a pillowcase and put it over your head so okay that's mm. fine jake looks a little ill we're all getting 
Tired of your cracked out face. Right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Per- perfect. <laughs> so vicious. Jeez. Uh, but no, but and, and the whole thing, like, because, I mean, I, I just want kind of people to understand, like, it is this thing where you guys use, uh, like, you know, camcorders to shoot videos. Mm-hmm. The thing with the hair in front of the face, what is that? It's just the, the identity thing. It's just like, why, you know, why does anyone need to really, like, I don't know. It's like about the music. It's not about, like, any type of image, you know? Yeah. It's like, I would hate for someone to, uh, I guess, I don't know, like, okay, Justin Bieber or something, right? Like, you look at him and it's like, I'd say more than half of it is, like, the way that he looks or whatever, right? Yeah, right. That's true. I think that's, like, disgusting for people to, like, listen to something because of how somebody looks or something. Mm-hmm. Not, like, saying, like, I'm comparable to Justin Bieber or something in looks, but it's kind of... Well, just, you're not. I know. Okay. Exactly. Continue. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, Continue. if I was, I would I would feel terrible, you know? But obviously, those people just make music for money. But I'm just saying that, to me, that's, like, disgusting for people to look at someone and be like, oh, I like their music and... I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it's just a, it's just an identity thing. So you guys are just more about the music, yeah? And not exactly, the looks. music. Yeah, that's it. So that makes that's good. Okay. So that that cl- clarifies. Did you have a question, Jake? I just said good. Oh, I. The hell was that? Uh, someone's dropping pans outside. <sighs> <sighs> Playing drums um, out there. We're at yeah. the Royal Inn. <laughs> really jammed in Detroit. Behind. We're staying at the Royal Inn. Royal time. Inn. <laughs> Dan, there's bugs crawling on your leg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, um, well, that's interesting to kind of know. And how did you get involved with, with Bones, and how did that all, all take place? And how many people are in this collective? Oh, man, I think it's like 20. Yeah. Uh, it kind of fluctuates sometimes, but it's it's around 20, like 18 for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I guess how it got started or whatever, and... I forget who was the first one in. It was a, a while ago, like so long ago. But I personally got in when it was like 2012 or 13. You know, uh, uh, Bones actually hit up my friend, and uh, I hit him up. And he's like, "Oh yeah, send me some of your stuff or whatever." So I sent him some of my stuff. He ended up using it, you know. <clears throat> and he was like talking about. Or I brought up session. I was like, "Hey, like this session thing is like pretty cool. Like if I would ever be a candidate for something like that, like let me know." And he's like, "Dude, of course." You know, he's just like, "Whatever, man. Like, sure, yeah. Like, why not? You know, type of thing." That's awesome. Yeah, and we've just been like talking online and stuff like that for like years and years. So, so it's kind of like um, you all just kind of promote each other. Pretty much, and, yeah, yeah. Like, because I didn't. I honestly, when you contacted me, I. I didn't know. I knew about your music, mm-hmm. but I didn't know about the the like sash thing. I just wasn't aware of it. I heard one of your songs. Um, I can't remember. It was a friend of mine who listens to that kind of music. It's almost like what would it be referred to as, like trip hop or something? What is it? I don't even know. It's always different stuff. Honestly, I'm always like putting out stuff that. It's just real mellow. Know. It's very well, yeah, mellow. I guess mellow in a general sense. But I put out so much like fucking weird shit that I could never sit there and be like, oh, it's you know, it's a uh, t- dark, low tempo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like I don't. Whatever. Like that's not really for me to decide. I guess. Right. It's like for other people. Like if I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make R R and B. I guess then that's like what I would do or whatever. But. I don't ever. You want. are just kind of all over the place, though. As far yeah. as uh, like, I'll make like fucking relaxing, I guess, trap influenced music, and then I'll make like house or something. I don't right? Know. Yeah, yeah. It's all just different stuff or ambient, whatever. Right. Well, and Corey, let's talk about your career. For sure. Are you a full time musician? I'm working on it. Working on it? <laughs> working on it, yeah. So what do you do, like shows around? Uh, uh, I play mostly around uh, Detroit area and Grand Rapids and Pontiac. Um, and then I'll venture off. To Pontiac like is a really happening town. Yeah, I'll as far as so. as far as clubs go, there's, uh, well, the main one I play at is called Electricity. It's more commercial, so I can't get away with as much. But uh, that's usually where I had like a residency for like three or four years. And you and Drip, uh 
you guys went to school together, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. For one year. Or two, was it three years? From Well, it was in middle school for I know, sure. I'm saying seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade. Yeah. And then I was just like, Pew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then we just kind of rode we were bikes. We are still just friends mm-hmm. and stuff, so. Played video games. <laughs> and you, you, <laughs> both, you both grew up in Michigan. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, um, what, like, uh, what was the question I had? Um, how old are you? Bo- how old are you, Drip? I'm 23. 23, and, and Corey, you're 23, were you? Uh, 24. But yeah. Okay. Just so a little so bit you were older. held back a year. <laughs> <laughs> no, we <we're> here. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not gonna lie, no, pretty you much. Were, you were held back a year. No, I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So you you do like dubstep? Is that kind yeah, of your I, I genre? Kinda, I kind of like I kind of like doing a bit of everything. I'm mostly, I guess, known for dubstep, but I do kind of like to make uh, like a little bit of everything. Like I've made some techno, and uh, you know, have like records of that and whatnot, and tapes, just like darker techno, but. My main thing is drippy, and then I do a whole bunch of other stuff, other other aliases. So, uh, but yeah, I'd say dubstep is for sure what I would be known for. For drippy, drippy is like your your uh, uh, artist name. Yep. That Where did this drip thing come? I mean, what drippy? What is this? I mean, honestly, did you have like a stomach ache? No, nah, I think the biggest. Thing, <laughs> I think the biggest thing was uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. There's a guy named Drippy. Mm-hmm. And that, and he was just a big piece of mold. He was really <laughs> disgusting, and uh, but he was really friendly. So I really liked his character in that show, and I was like, I, I kind of related to him in a little bit. And uh, I was actually, uh, I was always, in, I was on the swim team too growing up, so I was always in a pool. So I'd always be drippy. <laughs> 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 so yeah, it's a little bit cheesy, but uh, now, wait. So drip, you took your name. <laughs> Well, thing is, like I like I said, it could have been a subconscious thing, but I just thought it sounded good. Do you know, there's a group called like Perfuse Seventy Three. Have you ever heard of them? If not, whatever. But like, I thought that was <laughs> weird that they would use a word and then like follow it up with a number. I thought that sounded oh, like I weird. I was like, that's mm-hmm. kind of weird. So the one through three has no significance, but I just thought that together with the hyphen in between the two was like cool, like drip hyphen one it doesn't even make any sense people think it's like some leet stuff like drippy like i e e or something but it's not even like that it's just drip one three three yeah one of the um when i when i started sort of listening to you and bones and a couple other of the guys in the in the collective uh i i was like well i want to hear an interview with these guys there is an interview on youtube that is literally the most hilarious thing. Like the guys, it's Bones and his his guys, <laughs> and they're sitting on a couch, and there's a guy interviewing them, and like the guys do not talk. So the guys asking questions, and they're like, "Yeah," <laughs> and then they're like passing weed as you know they're passing a joint or <laughs> what whatever. What the fuck kind of interview and is it, this? Oh, it was so fabulous. <laughs> I loved it because I'm like, that's how you should do an interview. Just don't say anything. Right. Like they ask you a question. Yeah. Well, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> But it's not like it's not like they're being like bitchy or anything else. They're just like in their own world, hmm. well, and it probably they were. It was probably after they did a show or something. Was but the interviewer was, like yeah. a really preppy guy? Yeah, it was a yeah, guy like, who yeah. looked like yeah. He was like just real. total like basically like um, I guess like all their stuff like I don't know. I guess they wouldn't ever sit there and claim to be like some you know rapper or whatever. But like this guy's from like I think the one you're talking about is like Hot ninety seven or something. Yeah, like it was like, something like that. Like they're like. Do like people who are like I don't know like Machine Gun Kelly or right. like just just r- people who are like totally unlike you know them and then he interviews <laughs> them and then like <laughs> Bones is like just fucking with them the whole time. Like, oh, it's so, it's so great, <laughs> but he's like unaware like of it and stuff. It's kind of funny. Yeah, it's just like it's not they're not being like uh, it, there's no ego there or anything. It's just like they're just like we don't feel like doing this, but we'll sit down anyway. <laughs> Kind of thing. And then they're like, we're not going to answer the question. The guy is like totally like he's like a guy, you know, like a radio guy yeah. who has like a job and he's yeah. trying to do an interview, but they will not talk. <laughs> it's the most hilarious fucking it thing. It sounds I've like ever the seen. best cringe. Comedy. I lo- it it's wasn't pretty, even cringy. I, well, well, I just thought it, the cringe was the guy, the interview. No, I know. Well, the yeah, cringe yeah. was like the apparent cringe is the guy doing that. But like 
the subtle cringe is like Bones saying all these like fucked up like things to him <laughs> that like he has no idea. Like he's like unconscious of like Bones being like a fucking idiot to him. It's like hilarious. Oh yeah. my god, it was the best thing ever. I thought that was so fucking funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll probably have to link that video because that is literally like I've had friends watch that. We just sit there and laugh because this is like, so hilarious. I don't know why. I'm <laughs> I don't think that many people have watched that video either. I don't. I mean, Hot ninety seven is a pretty big channel, but I don't. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm sure wrong. It has a fair amount of views. I don't know. What is Hot ninety seven? Is that? It's literally just some. You want to know what Lil Wayne's eating for breakfast? You want to uh, know what? <laughs> fucking Dr. Dre is uh, buying. I, it's just some bullshit. I don't know. I hate stuff like that. It's so stupid. It's like who's like one of those a, like what? you know. We're going to surprise Alicia with her. Alicia is, uh, you know, Justin Bieber's number one fan. And we're about to surprise her. <laughs> it's like, oh, she's like in her room. And then Justin Bieber comes out of the closet and she starts crying. <laughs> yeah, and they I get the video up. <laughs> yeah. That kind of shit. There's some channel online that does that. And I'm like, you watch. I mean, it's, it's kind of like, I don't know. It's just it's it's like. I would be afraid to surprise my kid that way and what if they had heart issues yeah <laughs> wouldn't that be great if like justin bieber came out and then the kid dropped killed. dead yeah <laughs> just killed over jesus at the sight of justin bieber uh it's so coming over so anyway we're joined by drip 133 at drip 133 on twitter and we're also joined by Corey, who goes by tweet drippy well, it's or just, drippy yeah it's just drippy, drippy <laughs> but you can tweet drippy at tweet <laughs> exactly. drippy yeah. uh he does dubstep in the detroit area and plays shows do you have a show coming up you want to plug um i don't really except know beside the one in arkansas yeah i mean the other one i can only think about is in kentucky and i was supposed to go to chicago next week but since we're going to la i don't know if we're going to do that but yeah well, you guys are real cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're all over Fucking the place. LA, Nationwide. Chicago, Detroit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it sounds awesome. What does? What they're doing. <laughs> oh, LA, oh, Chicago. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yes. No, I got. Yeah, it it's sounds wonderful. No, I mean, uh, you know, Jake and I, we've hit up some big cities on this trip. Cool, Cleveland. Cleveland. Ooh. Dayton. Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. Are you kidding me? And now Baller. Det- now Detroit. Dang. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've even stopped in uh, some smaller towns along the way. Real nice time. Anyway, uh, we're going to talk about... Now, we're going to talk about last night. So, the boys, Drip, Drippy, they come to meet us at our hotel. And the plan was, we're just going to drive around Detroit. And, like, Mm -hmm. you know, just like what Jake and I do. Yes. We listened to Escape 69 <laughs> on Sirius XM. What was that song called? Bubbles, Bubbles in the Wine. Bubbles, Bubbles in, the wine. in the Wine. Lawrence Welk. <laughs> so we listen to this like ridiculous music and we just drive like in bad neighborhoods. And I don't know. It just seems fitting. But it is a strange... Because I mean, we're always kind of... I mean, we, we go because we like looking at like abandoned shit. Mm-hmm. But like... And Detroit is just so sprawling. You know, it's just like, it's not like Baltimore. It's like Detroit is sprawling. So what do you mean by that? Well, I mean, you can drive into like the shittiest neighborhood, like everything's abandoned. And then you drive two blocks and there's like multi-million dollar mansions. Yeah. Well, we mentioned it in the other podcast, which I don't know if it's out or not, but let's not go backwards. Let's okay. continue going well, forward. I'm going to okay? do it anyway, because we mentioned that Detroit is up and coming now no it it's, is it's a no it is they've done a lot of the stuff but it doesn't area. yeah the downtown it doesn't, <laughs> really, yeah. it doesn't really help the communities that actually need it i don't Quote, know never, never is is there down it does the downtown trickle down to these other neighborhoods and it doesn't well to be fair they are making efforts to demolish and secure buildings that otherwise would be they need to try a little bit harder what do you mean i mean there's a long way to go Oh, I know, but I'm saying boarding the larger up, buildings. Boarding that... up a hospital that has been left open for 10 years is not exactly progress. Yeah, yeah and then it's, putting a of course it is. Well, it's putting por- a will demolish sticker, you know. Yeah. It's like, just demolish it. <laughs> it's like, when? <laughs> yeah. So last night we start driving around. And our first encounter, 
I I don't remember what, what we were on. We were on Woodward. Oh man. Or Tratchet. Uh, Tratchet. It was Highland Park. <laughs> Remember, yeah, remember our first and is that really how you say that Gr- name? Grash it's Grash it. Oh, Grash Gra- it. Grash it. Gra- Gra- I thought it. it. <laughs> Grash Gra- it. Yeah. Um. But no, we remember you were like, oh, let's go to Highland Park. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we so we went Highland to Highland Park, Park, which has some really great <clears throat> old signs. That's what I love: the old advertising signs. And oh my god, last night. So we go to that the building that had the first underground parking garage. Oh, right. In, I forgot about that. Was that in the country or just in Detroit? Uh, I think it was in Michigan. So this building had the first underground parking garage in Michigan. The building was built in... 1902, I think? 1903? Yeah. So that was just really at the advent of automobiles. Yeah. And Ford yeah, was here. Was I mean, this is like Ford's uh, city, mm-hmm. so... Yeah. You know, they, I'm sure it was a luxurious apartment building when it was built. Oh, I'm sure it was. But anyway, inside of the... We, we were going to go in the garage, but they had the, the gates, gates down. Um, but on the wall is this old <laughs> painted sign that says... It said, no peddlers and no... What was the other one? It started with a C, I think. Yeah, it started with a C. I can't remember. But it said, no peddlers. <laughs> Isn't that fucking incredible? Which is... Uh, a phrase the sign. A, the sign was a hun- over a hundred years old. Probably, yeah. It must have been. No peddlers. No peddlers. Like that's what canvassers. They... Canvassers. That's canvassers. right. Yeah, yeah. Peddlers, no, canvassers. no peddlers something and no else. canvassers. That's like something they would call homeless people in or, the early yeah, 1900s. like winos and stuff. Winos. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that was that was just fucking incredible. And that's been there that. ever since. They never took that down. They never that's, took it down. So it's been there. Progressed, which is interesting. It's been there all this time. Yeah. And that's the kind of stuff I love to see because, you know, downtown here, they erase all that stuff. It's all gone. So you can still see little glimpses of the past in these more downtrodden areas. Mm -hmm. But Detroit as a whole, I mean, I don't like, like, I, I don't feel, I've never felt unsafe here, but I think it felt more unsafe in Cleveland than it has this, it has this reputation for being this, you know, (laughs) horrendously dangerous city yeah. as we go into talking about watching a fucking car bombing. Well, yeah. But, <laughs> car but, bomb. So anyway, the, our first... We we're driving on this road. I see a theater. Okay? Oh, God, the I theater. forgot about that. You too. forgot about it. Jesus. I see a theater and I'm like, oh, I, I really wanted to go in a theater last mm-hmm. night. And so I'm like, I'm going to pull behind the building to see if there's anything in the opening in the back. Down this terrifying back alley. very dark back alley and there was a guy in the alley oh my god <laughs> the guy is walking first of all i hear all the windows going up i said what in the hell it's hot leave the windows down <laughs> so we start we drive <laughs> into the alley and we pass this opening in the back of this building open and door it wasn't a door. It was a board. Yeah, it looked oh, like just some it? opening. It didn't even yeah. look like anything. It didn't have a board. It was a board. I thought it was a door. Uh, and there's a table inside with candles. Which the floor was had completely collapsed in there, by the way. How were they walking on it, then? It was like the floor rotted right down to the concrete or whatever it was on. Oh, it. perfect. Yeah. So there's candles going, everything. This, And I see a guy in there, and I said, hey, man, you okay? And... He comes out, and he's like, "Oh yeah, man, I'm okay. I'm, just, I'm, you know, I'm just homeless." He's like, "He's like, are you all good?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah, we're cool." And we drove off. And I drive away, and then I realize, oh, he's like distributing out of yeah, this. That was probably a <laughs> space distribution. You were f- t- drip was terrified. Well, I was kind of just like, dude, what, like, what are we doing? <laughs> Why did we like, stop here? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, like this isn't some shit you just do, I guess. You know? yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was a crazy place. I mean, yeah. Yeah. it was dimly lit. There was like it a was, table in the me, middle. I wanted to go in. I know that would have been interesting yeah. to see. That's what I'm saying. I wanted to go in, but no, they had guns in there. If that was uh, yeah, if he's distributing, distributing. Them, yeah. yeah, but he was like kind of like a. I mean, he lo- he was like a homeless white guy. He seemed pretty decent, to be fair. But decent I mean, that was for you know the. 10 seconds of interaction or whatever. But that's, that's, <laughs> I don't know what that dude's capable of. You know. 
<laughs> but that that was perfect though because uh if you're doing if you're dealing mm-hmm. that's like a drive through it is what it is it because is. we were it was only like three feet from the car from our because our honestly door. i mean the police probably don't know about that they're not driving down that alleyway and even no. if they do they just move to another so only so door. probably only some people know about it yeah and they probably have a way to get out really quick if they need to possibly but there was probably oh, the huge opening well that but if a police car pulls up there yeah you could run you know out of it or something mm, i don't know i'm wondering if the police would even go in there begin with i, I mean, doubt it after after we saw this police work last night yeah. i don't know if <laughs> um no, they just don't care you know? yeah they're just like whatever so we uh we drove around some more and um drip suggested that we should go to a abandoned factory well let's talk about the hookers first even though All that right. was even though that was <laughs> after the uh it it, it was well. It was before because we went to the but, donut place before then, or we drove by the donut place. I don't remember. Whatever the hookers, um, <laughs> sex workers. You're not allowed to call them Sorry. hookers anymore. Prostitutes. Sex workers. No, no <laughs> problem. Even that. That's not PC sex enough. Workers. Sex workers. Jeez. They were like the okay. So these women are out on. What is that road? I can't fucking remember. I, I, I it's where it's where the donut, the twenty four hour donut, Dutch woman donuts places. Yeah. So is it twenty four hours? The donut place. Yeah, yeah it's twenty four. Wow. Uh, so these women are out there, and it looks like a scene in a movie. Like if like if you were to make a movie, and you were gonna have hookers, this would be like what they would look like. Well, just imagine like a cliche prostitute. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah. What I mean, that's like. what they look like. <laughs> like, exactly. And I-, I can't imagine being a woman out there. It is going to be... Jesus. I mean, but those bitches, they're tough. Well, I like, mean, we, tough. we learned from Trina and Pam. Right, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, those girls, I mean, if you do something stupid, they're going to fuck you up. They probably have guns and oh, yeah. purses and shit. But, like, one girl was walking in, in just lingerie. Yeah, when she was walking down the street, Ass lingerie. Mm-hmm. There was another woman, transgender. So I guess yeah. there's transgender and and biological females working on that corner. I guess if it was in front of that laundromat. Remember yeah. we <laughs> we were about to pull. I <laughs> we should have. <laughs> <laughs> Drip is shaking his Drip's head. Like, oh, I don't want any part hey, of that. Ben, Ben's <laughs> like, um, hey, uh, let's stop uh, real quick at this laundromat. It's like oh, uh, real quick. Um, I want to have a chat, <laughs> 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 just to you know, type you know, interview, whatever. See what see what they're about. You know. <laughs> well, the, <laughs> I was like, um, yeah, I'm gonna go with a big no on that. One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't we think can I'm do trying it. to sit at this 24 hour laundromat at four in the morning or whatever. Well, my idea and always is sort of to just hang out and see yeah. who comes over to talk, observe. And they were and observe. They were waving at us and and all that when we were <laughs> driving by. Yeah, of course they were. Yeah. Customers. That's right. Um. So they. W- so you know, I was fascinated by that because that whole area over there is so. Uh, and it's so out in the open, and the police don't even want anything to do with it. No. There are cars pulling off. They pull off into the neighborhoods, and the girls go and meet them. And we watched one climb into a jeep. And yeah, take off. So very active over there. I bet it'll be more active tonight. It's Friday. Possibly. That's true. Friday Friday Payday. Tonight. Friday night in uh, Friday the warm. Motor City. <laughs> Always crazy. Yeah. We're getting a dash I mean, did cam. you see the parking lot already? It's ridiculous. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I mean, there's, yeah, everyone comes in town. Crazy. Sin is in. <laughs> this town is raw. I mean, it's like, it's very, there's a lot of like, uh, like, Fucked up shit out in the uh, less visited areas of the city. Yeah, once you get into the areas where the houses have been demolished and it's just fields. Prairies. The, the hood prairies. Yeah, hood prairies. I mean, that's what they are. That's what they are. So we, so let's get to the, to the, to the meat and potatoes of this story. So we are, well, Drip, you, you wanted us to go to, uh, Drip's having some, uh, He's got oh, there he goes. Okay. <laughs> so, 
I've been to this place if, like I want to say five times in general. I have no idea where it is. I just know the street name. Mm-hmm. Uh, the street is Farnsworth, and uh, it's in a place where you know. Obviously, I guess on typical streets you'd see a couple, you know, maybe a few burnt down houses, a couple, you know, places where like. It's just grass, no house, like gone. You know, it'll be like there, there's some blocks that have like three or four active houses on a whole block. And let but, me di- let me just explain to people who are there's people all over the world that listen to this. Mm-hmm. Uh, so in Detroit, when the neighborhood started to be sort of abandoned, uh, the city went in and just tore down the houses that were vacant. Probably in the late '80s or early '90s. This was happening. Probably. It probably because started. It, essentially forests with fully grown yeah, trees. Yeah. It, probably, yeah. it could have started yeah. before. It was yeah. probably before that, too. But they started, and it was just terrible planning uh, because they really had no, there is n- there was no plan. So you just have sort it's of. It's kind of like Lehigh Acres, how there's yeah, lots yeah. of empty lots right. in between houses. It's just, it's just roads that you drive through basically like uh, very kind of young woods. Yeah. Dimly lit. Dimly lit. Former neighborhoods. Former that neighborhoods just, that are now just forests. Like you said, yeah. baby force. Um, so go continue, Drip. Okay, yeah. So, but this neighborhood essentially has, like, absolutely no houses, and it's practically all young woods, mm-hmm. like what you're saying or whatever. And it's, right. like, pretty much overgrown. There isn't really a person in sight at all you know I, not at that time yeah i mean honestly in general like anytime i've been there there's yeah. been like maybe a single car or like a s- person walking or riding their bike like once every like couple hours like yeah and we're talking like this was what like two thirty by the time so we wanted to check out the automotive plant which I, oh, that's it, what was, it was uh right? it was grand trunk cold storage that was a place called oh. that, was, that was the place's title or whatever it's called but it's like an, a, a huge yeah, it's multi-level a huge, abandoned yeah, exactly yeah warehouse i guess right so by the time we got there what I'm not nothing talk- am i not there. talking in the front now you're good okay uh by the time we got there it was what 2 30 in the morning yeah, yeah. Something like that. it was 2 30 yeah and we were trying to find a parking spot which there wasn't any yeah not at all not like, no. in a safe anytime location. every time i've ever been there i've been like oh i want to go in that building but you know, it's either you park like I mean, you know what indirect. the fuck, you know what the fucked up thing is what? is when we pulled down that road mm-hmm. where the incident happened. There's a big went, field, but there was nobody there. We were, I was like, we could park oh, here. Okay. Well, that, yeah, that, uh, yeah. Initially, so the whole yeah, the whole thing in general <laughs> probably lasted about like they were there doing that and then out within. It was like ten well, minutes five, before, yeah, literally, before yeah. the actual thing. Remember, we were driving, we we're driving around trying to find a parking spot, and <laughs> there's like a big field next to the tower. Yeah, remember, I was like, hey, yeah, we yeah. could just park like uh, just right here. I mean, I've done yeah. it before. Right, yeah. this. But yeah, remember, right. driving by that, we smelt, yeah, we something dead. Something in we, it's the field. So we smell a very strong odor of decay. Mm-hmm. And the first thing we're thinking is because this area out there is so desolate and so uh, it's a discreet area. It's very to hide discreet. Something. Um, it's a place where you would go, and if you're doing something criminal or dumping a body, this is where you could go and get away with it. Uh, so that's the first thing I was thinking. I'm like, I hope that's not a dead person in the field. But I mean. It's two thirty in the morning. It's pitch black. There's barely any street lights. Right. Yeah, there, all, all you can hear is crickets, but it's dead silence otherwise. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And we're just driving around. We're we driving smell around. something that's decaying, and then we see car. A uh, one. Well, so move well, we'll on get we'll get to the, so. Basically, we wanted to go into this building, which it did look cool, but there was really nowhere to park. The safe. That was safe to leave the car. It was just one of those places where you're just like, fuck if I'm leaving a car. We have a rental, too, so... We definitely do not want... Yeah, we don't want anything to have a rental. car broken into. (laughs) So, um... That or stolen, which would be honestly the worst possible thing in that type of area. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Yeah, yeah, just a walk back, you know? Holy shit, yeah. Can you imagine? I would just hide in the woods and call Uber. (laughs) 
Like, I, I, I mean, I don't even know if an Uber would even want to go there. <laughs> They'd be like, nope. <laughs> yeah, they declined. They'd be like, where is... Oh, Why no, are you guys no, out no. here? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, what the fuck are you guys doing here? Yeah, like, <laughs> <would> be questioning. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, just drive us, dude. Relax. Uh, so, so yeah. So, we're, we, we're driving around, and we drive through, through these... I mean, basically, you could call them squares. They're just like... A square block. Yeah, there's square yeah. blocks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, grass. With just grass and trees in the With middle. maybe one, two, three houses yeah. in maybe. the right. whole block. Maybe. So all of a sudden, this white van appears to be following us. And he was following us. Well, remember, we had it in our minds, too, that this is a place where right. if someone's out there at this time... In the yeah, morning, yeah, something's up fucked any, up. They're not, they're they're not up to on. anything yeah. good yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah. Right. not good. So we're, we're like, we're this van is kind of following us, and then I turned or something, and he didn't follow, but he circled around and went mm-hmm. back to where he was, which was the location of what where yep. the, all this shit happened. Uh, so. Anyway, we, we, I'm just like giving up. I'm like, we're not parking here. And, you know, so we start driving and I circled around one more time and we go down this little street. No houses, no nothing. No lights. No lights. There's it's a black. there's a Mercedes SUV. A black Mercedes SUV, probably about 2012. Yeah. Parked on the side of the road with the lights on. And then as we're looking at that, we look over in the woods. And there's no one in the car, by the way. There's no one in the car. Yeah. No one in the car, but it's running. So on the opposite opposite side of the road, in the woods, there's a damn Cadillac with the door open, sitting Again, in the no woods one. with the lights on and everything. We don't see anyone. Uh, but we start freaking, because we see a car that's parked. Yeah, instantly, we're all like, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This can't be woods. good. Like, it's <laughs> it deep into the the forest there yeah and we all start freaking out because something's going on yeah i'm like i'm like something is definitely going on so i'm like i'm gonna circle the block and go back right so i go i go up a few blocks Mm -hmm. and then turn around to go back as we're driving back towards toward that street towards that street we're on the street but we're three blocks away right the mercedes comes plowing down the road they like, take off like yeah. 70 80 miles yeah, an hour like getting the fuck out of there yeah they like miles fly right. past <laughs> us <Very> squealing <laughs> and so, so we're at the stop sign before that street so we're yeah. just a little bit away right. from where that so we're we're, was we're there and i'm like i'm like well i guess the cadillac is still there and then all of a sudden we hear a small explosion we see a flash of light L- right and, and it you can feel it yeah yeah, you yeah can we could feel, feel it so feel instantly it. Yeah. i thought it was a gunshot yeah we I thought, thought someone was killed in like in that forest area right uh, so that's why i started to freak out so much yeah yeah and then we get what's wrong sorry the fucking god no it's like, it's like making me mad the sound <laughs> of the shit that's going on out there dude. oh they're just having a good time crazy anyway go ahead sorry uh so <laughs> we 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 feel the, hear the explosion. We feel it. I'm like, what is going on? And then all of a sudden, we see I see fire. Yeah, Big, I'm like the fucking flames. car. The Cadillac is on fire. Just blew up. Yeah. So the guys yeah. all start kind of like freaking out, and I was freaking out too. But I'm like, my first instinct was, oh my god, what if there's somebody in there that we could pull out and save their life? That I was doubt anyone. Who would have been in there would have been alive, right? But yeah. unless they were in the trunk, unconscious. I mean, that's, that's that's the only true. thing I could think of. But I mean, would have never gotten my that my thing was like, would have been uh, that's just happened. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here, literally right now. Like, <laughs> well, call I, the cops and let's get the fuck out of here. I, like, it would have been danger. <laughs> I was just scared that someone else was back there. That's what I'm or, saying. Right. Yeah, if yeah, someone like, was in the woods or something. That's why I was. A, a I thought someone closer. who could light some, you know, a car on fire would obviously be, you know, fuck up enough to potentially be some other type of danger yeah. to you or whatever Maybe i thought about it i mean honestly the way that that guy was booking ass out of there and the the car burning i'm like nobody's gonna be here but in the back of my mind i'm like mate you know it could be but it's very doubtful that somebody who does something like that is going to yeah they want to get the fuck out of yeah there. they want to go yeah that's true but there could have been something going on 
in that area and those people separately just took off. Right. And the white van was definitely in cahoots yes. with this yeah, person yes. because they were like a spotter. So there almost. was multiple people in this operation. Yeah, right. So uh we pull past the car. I mean, it's just shocking. The flames were going up a good fifteen with loud twenty pops. feet. Yeah. Loud, loud explosions. It's little like explosions car. inside the yeah. car. Um and we're just all freaking out. And I'm just trying to keep everyone calm because I'm like, I, I really, I was like, <laughs> I hope to God that there's nobody in that car. When yeah, we and then drove, you say there's someone on. <laughs> when we drove past it, there was, there was, I, what I think they did is I think they put pillows in the front seat. Probably. Because polyester will go up like fucking yeah. dynamite. <clears throat> Well, I the think fire. they I think they set a bunch of pillows, but it looked like somebody was was like on the steering wheel. Well, the fire chief explained to us that when there's gasoline condensed in a an area like a vehicle, it'll explode. It'll really go up. Yeah, which is interesting because that Mercedes took off in about forty fifty sec- seconds. Yeah, later. it took it, quick. It it blew up. Yeah, it's like they had had something that would trigger. It felt that. like it was timed. Yeah, like it was just weird, you know, drive away and then. 20 seconds later yeah. pop it's like yeah yeah what do they do <laughs> so uh so jake calls 911 mm-hmm. at this point we're like i mean i'm like there could be a body in there mm-hmm. uh i don't know if i'd be able to live with myself if someone burned alive in that car i i mean and i didn't try to do the something. idea of them being alive was I think a little far fetched, though. I mean, can you, what would we have done if we heard someone banging on the trunk? Oh, oh my! Would have been impossible. I'd still be hearing. I those. mean, did you see the when the fire department got there? It took them like four men and several. Different well, that's mechanisms after the, that's to... after the fucking thing melted. So I mean, uh, I don't maybe. know. I, I, don't, I really don't know. I'm assuming the person would, if there was a person in the back in the trunk, depending on what shape they're in, they. Could potentially be okay, but I yeah, mean, it was it was they could have lived. It would have been very very hot and uncomfortable, and they're like that 100%, trunk. The trunk like, was burned. Oh, everything was? in the trunk. I thought burned. the trunk. Well, when we went saved. back to it, I thought that the trunk was like still intact and stuff. But I mean, the inside and totally no, no, no. in the well, seat. Because like, I, I went up to the car and looked. Okay, okay, that yeah. trunk was burned. Yeah. Everything yeah, in okay, there was yeah. burned. I was like, maybe. Uh, <laughs> but so anyway, we're we're waiting for the police. Uh Drip has to pee, <laughs> and he's freaking <laughs> out. That. I'm like, let's get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, Drip is freaking out, and he has to pee. So I'm like, I'm just gonna drop this bitch off at the fucking <laughs> house or whatever, dude. I'm like, I'm like, Corey, take this bitch and get the <laughs> fuck out of the car. Because like, I'm like, want to drive up, and I'm trying to get footage of this. Yeah, and everyone's like, don't drive past the car, and I'm like, oh my god, oh, look, 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 look. me not being a videographer. You know, something like that doesn't really cross my mind. I'm kind of like, yo, I just saw that. Um, I'm ready to to literally (laughs) leave now. (laughs) No, no, nothing in me is like, yeah, I need to go back around the block and see that again. Well, I was just waiting. That's just me, though. I was waiting for you to um, pull out a pad and start writing a new song. Yeah. Well, I should have done that, but. What the fuck? (laughs) Yeah. You know, I mean, it is a lot of. um, (laughs) <laughs> all right but no i just i just instinctually when i see something crazy going on it's just like call the cops and let's get the fuck out of here like it's not this is not a joke like this is not something that's like it got very real very quick. yeah it was yeah, like it was like real. oh this guy might be doing something weird boom yeah. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh what the fuck <laughs> right yeah, yeah well so uh so anyway we uh circle back and then we wait for the police to get there mm-hmm. One police car shows up, and he is on the other side of the street as us. And so I start walking towards yeah, we start him. Start walking towards, and him. then he gets on his speaker and he's like, "Please do not walk over here. Please don't come over here." Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> annoying. Like, I was like, "Please yeah. don't come over here." I feel like I'm, I'm like, uh, in an aggressive way. I'm like, "We're witnesses to this nightmare." <laughs> so the fire department comes, one fire truck, and they they put out the fire, mm-hmm. and. Then the moment comes when they're like literally like using crowbars to get that fucking trunk open, and I'm sitting there with like, oh please don't let there be a body yeah. in there. No body, thank God. So it was probably just an insurance job, but man, they had a lot of people involved. Or what yeah. I was saying earlier about 
potential. Or, they want to get the rid of that fucking vehicle as soon as possible type shit. You know, they might have done something crazy in that car. There might be a hot car. They're probably just like, let's get rid of this fucking right. car. I don't Could know. Be. Some Who knows? Could have been anything. Disposal of evidence. Possibly. Yeah. Exactly. And hopefully we can get over there before it gets dark. Yes. Because I'd like to be nice. poke around the woods a little bit. Yeah. Cause, so the cop leaves. As they're putting yeah. the car out. Yeah. Within five minutes <laughs> of him being He's on. gone. Talk yeah. <laughs> he, talk, he leaves. The firemen are left to look for any sign of, uh, you know, a body. A body. Yeah. Uh, and we tell the, the... Because they were in the woods. Yeah, we, tell, we told the, the fire chief, we said, listen, when we drove by, whoever was doing this, if it, I think it was more than one person. It, it had to have been because there's more than one car. Well, he, Corey had a theory about, you know, when we drove past the car and he, the guy wasn't in his car and he wasn't, he was just gone out of the sight of where the other car's location was or whatever. What, what, what did you say? You said something like, what, what about like he could be like hiding oh, yeah, behind the car or something. Like hiding in the woods. So maybe they just thought like, you know, maybe they just parked the car there. Or something. Yeah. Like, you know, hiding behind the car, maybe so just cause we're, he knows we're yeah, driving see, by and he's like, I don't want these motherfuckers there, yeah. to see me like. You know, maybe that's what I was thinking. Maybe that's they were just probably just hiding in the woods. Yeah, they were hiding because when we turned down that street, hiding or you know what you're thinking, like maybe they're doing some fuck up shit to the owner of the car, or like or, some yeah, crazy yeah. shit. Right, 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 I don't right. know, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and it was a brand new Cadillac. Yep. Yeah, probably yeah. about forty five, fifty grand. For yeah, a car. Like it was a nice car, hmm. and it was completely melted. I mean, oh, it's gone. The engine, everything. After just... only like ten minutes of. I don't know what they did to that thing to get the fucking engine to melt. and it, I mean, it was like completely melted. And it burned for what? Maybe 15 minutes? Yeah. Not it wasn't, that wasn't fire. long at all. Like, the fire long. didn't even die down. It just got bigger and bigger. It just kept yeah. going and going. And I'm like, Jesus, And if we man. weren't there to report it, oh, it's potential man. that it could have melted the, the power lines the power. above. Or oh, yeah. The forest would have went That's up. That's what he was saying. That's what I was saying. I saw the power lines. I was like, if that caught, like somebody would definitely know that like the, the right, yeah, they would call would for out. sure. I mean, obviously, if it was in a more, you know, less uh, like there's no power lines by it, I'm sure that would probably just burn and burn and burn, and yeah. no one gave a fuck at all. But yeah. since it's so close to something that serious, you know, as soon as that goes out, people are like, "What the fuck's going on mm-hmm. with my whatever?" You know, right? But yeah, I mean, it, it's like it. We were all just like kind of shell shocked. By the whole <laughs> because me, I mean, me you watch, sure. we watched. I mean, Jake and I, like when we were in Cleveland a couple weeks ago, and we were filming Dirty Room, and uh, there were gunshots that went off in, in front of the motel we were in, just you know, like twenty feet away from us, and uh, that was like wow. Yeah. But this was a whole different ball game. I've never seen anything like this before in all my years of because uh, we watched it from beginning to end unknowingly right. yeah i know the whole up yeah really and it just you know to see a car a brand new almost brand new car go up in flames uh from you know intentionally with is the like, mindset that we already knew that something sketchy could happen in these yeah. woods. it's just like fucking unbelievable yeah like we were totally just like what how is this possible? How could this happen? And it was like a nice... Uh, the Mercedes was a nice car. Yeah, it was. And it's like... But who the why fuck are they is in here? a Mercedes burning up a Cadillac? That's what I'm... Yeah. A very... Because if you have that kind of money, then you may be involved in drugs. Because I said it was I like... I mean, this. honestly, they could just... People could just pay that person to do that type of shit all the right, time. Right, yeah, yeah. That's a thing. That's and they could just have money, you know. But the, the firefighters said the same thing. They said it's an insurance yeah. job. That's what I thought. But I was just really happy that there were no, uh, that there were no, um... You know, it'll be nice to mute your phone one of I these know. podcasts, Dan. I just, I just was happy that there were no dead bodies. Yes. That's no what one I was died. happy Me too. I was, I, you know, I was freaking out. And then when I found out there was no body, I was like, all right, well, I mean, it's just some insurance shit, but like... Still, it's like I can't even believe you just fucking saw this. Like, yeah, it it's was like it was. I was crazy. like, yeah, hey guys, come check out this neighborhood. Like, it's really fucked up, and we could check out this cool building. Mm. Like, but I'm telling you, it's a seriously fucking weird no house, like weird neighborhood, and then just this crazy shit happens. But it's when like, you're in that kind of neighborhood, that's that discreet, and that like anything could happen back there, right? 
because yeah. it's scary. It, it reminds me, you know, back home at, at Leakin Park. I mean, it's kind of the same deal there. It's like, you know, at night, it's like this desolate place where there's no, <laughs> there's like no one. And, you know, you do get like weird cars following you yeah. and all this stuff. And it's like, that's kind of the feeling I had of being out there. And with that, I mean, I, I loved it out there because it's just so creepy. I love the factory noise. Well, another thing too, out there... If you're being watched by someone, you'd never know. No, oh, no. of course not. Know. No. So for all we know, there was someone watching us the whole Somebody time. Watch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And that's fucking terrifying. Oh, and another another thing about it is when we were initially, you know, all the, all the you know firefighters left and everything, mm-hmm. and we were just standing outside for a minute, right? And that car came. You know, obviously we were kind of like, I don't know, man, we should probably get out of here or whatever. But the thing is, is that car turned down like the street that it was on oh, so yeah. it could have even yeah. been someone that's like hey man like you know check check this out see if it's like actually you know going up mm-hmm. or what you never know i don't know because they turned yeah. down that exact street that we were on yeah like after we were leaving so it's like what are they doing down that exact street you know it's like at, why at take time, yeah exactly that time it was weird well because like there you know someone was driving the caddy Someone was driving the Mercedes. Mm. Must have been. And then the and van, the van yeah. although we can't verify, but it was definitely spotting around that area because he kept tur- he kept doing U-turns and going up the... St- he was right in that area where that street is, so I don't know if he was trying to, like, spot, like, intimidate cars from going down there to, you mm. know... Yeah, I could see that for sure. But we didn't see anyone. We didn't see any people. Not a single And when that person. Mercedes flew by us, you couldn't see anything. I mean, They're it was like... They're tinted windows, too. Yeah. And plus, in Michigan, you don't have to have a front license plate. Right. So, we wouldn't have Even seen Even if we did plate. film it, we wouldn't Yeah, have we wouldn't have seen plate. it. Yeah. So, yeah, that was the crazy story. Jeez. Our fun night in Detroit. <laughs> Unbelievable. I gotta tell you. Yeah, I mean, it was it, so we, fun. We were kind of like out of... Like, <laughs> we were kind of tired. I was a little tired. When that happened, that I, was, I couldn't fall asleep until 7 o'clock oh, this morning. Yeah. That it was bang. like a rush. Of like <laughs> we just kept, all of us just kept saying, can you fucking believe that? Like, it just was one of those things. It's just like, I'll never forget that. Nope. That was, I mean, I got to say it was awesome. That was fun. That's a nice way to end our Detroit adventure. Yeah. I mean, that was really fun for me. <laughs> it was just like, man, this is so exciting and so crazy. It's fucking crazy. Like, I've never had that kind of experience so yeah. for me it was great it's just weird to see something that you know, you'll see or hear about like a million times on the yeah. news and then it just happens right in front of your face like right yeah just right like in front of geez, yeah, yeah. i mean right. we saw the initial explosion i know <laughs> yeah I felt it yeah, we felt <laughs> in the back seat i was like yo we're like 100 feet away from it i'm just glad we weren't like next to it next to it when it yes. happened yeah jesus that would have been. I mean, that, that, that honestly, you wanted was, to be next. To I'm it, wondering though. if it would have blew out the windows or something. It was loud. Well, that it, was the if that they was hit the, the gas tank. It probably would, could probably, have. Yeah. I don't know if yeah. it hit the gas. I don't think it did. But that that thing went up real fast. Sure did. So no more car payments. <laughs> <laughs> Those are ending. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> they went up in smoke. <laughs> anyway, you guys, we're gonna end this. Uh, I want to thank my guest, Drip One Three Three. Uh, musician, producer extraordinaire. Um, you can follow Drip on Twitter at Drip133. And I also want to thank our guest, uh, Drippy. <laughs> I always fucked this up. <laughs> Drippy. <laughs> our other guest, Drippy. Uh, Corey, who is a dubstep producer, does dubstep music. Check him out on Twitter at and others. Tweet Drippy. And uh, Jake Williams at Bright Sun Films. Anybody have any closing statements they'd like to make? No. <laughs> Welcome to the Motor what? City. Yeah, it was lit. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you, everyone.